Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly videos for all zodiac signs, monthly readings. I keep saying videos, you guys. Anyways, uh, this is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of February 2021. All right, let's get into your reading, Gemini. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing amazing. Uh, we're going to start off with your tarot cards, then we'll jump quickly into the oracle cards. So let's see what's going on. All right, so we have the five of swords, five of swords. Um, okay, so we're starting off the month feeling a bit guarded. Uh, for some of you guys, you may be feeling like you're being attacked, um, attacked in the sense of, uh, you know, disagree uh, disagreements or arguments within the family or people around you. Uh, your next card is the Ten of Coins, Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel that there's going to be a situation that's going to come up in the month of February where we're talking about the material here. So we're talking about finances, we're talking about properties, we're talking about things that are in the material sense. Um, and it's almost as if you can be dealing with family uh, dynamic for sure here with the Ten of Swords. Okay. Okay. So this is the, taking a very different picture. Give me one second. Let me pull out all the cards so I can see clearly what's going on. Okay. All right. So I'm getting different messages for some of you guys now. With the Five of Swords, I feel that there is a lot of ego that is that is involved here. You're going to be dealing with a situation where we're talking about past hurts. We're talking about um, situations in regards to the family dynamic. With the Ten of Swords, it could have been a situation where uh, there was some type of ending, some type of separation, some type of deciding not to contact or communicate with certain people. Uh, for some of you guys, it could have been that you were dealing with very toxic energy. doesn't have to be family, you guys. This could be friends. This could be people that we choose to be around. Um, however, with the star card, I feel very heavily that spirit is directly speaking to you, Gemini. And what they're telling you is, if you're currently dealing or still caring with past hurts, uh, past hurts and difficulties, maybe even resentment um, from people of the past, people that you've been around, that you've trusted, that you've loved, that you've believed in. Um, it's time for you to release yourself from those resentments, from those grudges. Um, if you are, in fact, currently uh, keeping at a distance from a specific family member, with the Ten of Swords and the, and the Star card here, what they're saying is, their actions have a lot to do from hurt that they've been through themselves. With the star card, this is hopefulness. This is being able to see light at the end of the tunnel. This is being able to be guided and to see maybe in some way there was a situation where you could have really trusted now, this could be, for some of you guys, this could be in regards to a relationship, a marriage, a union that people got involved, or this could be you dealing with friends, relatives, people that are around you that, you know, we deal with on an everyday basis. But there was some type of betrayal or some type of hurt here. And I feel that the communication has been hindered because on both sides, there's pride, there's hurt. We, we don't, I'm not going to talk to them because they're not talking to me, that type of energy. And I feel that for them, whatever action was taken wasn't necessarily out of spite or wasn't necessarily from a bad place. I feel that that's just the reaction they had based on hurt that they were dealing with themselves. With the Six of Swords and the Star card, you may find in the month of February, Gemini, where perhaps you judge someone very harshly or you mistrusted some type of true intention with the six of swords here and the page of wands i feel that things will come out to the open and you will see that they weren't coming from a bad place you will find out that uh this could have been a situation where too many people were getting involved too many 
mouths were speaking too many ideas or um, mentalities were involved. And it created almost like this energy of like just rumors and what we call chismes, you know, people just talking out of their ass type of energy. Um, this could be specifically dealing with an Aquarius or this could be specifically dealing with a fire energy, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries type of energy. But with the five of cups again and the two of swords, I feel that there is hurt here. There is, it could be for some of you guys, like I said, I'm getting different messages, you guys. So just take the messages that resonate. Um, for others of you, it could have been a relationship that ended um, based off of, you know, people getting too involved in this connection, telling you certain things and then other people would go and tell your partner other things. And I feel like you guys just got to a point of like getting sick and tired of it and you judged what they were telling you, the information they were giving to you. But I feel that for the month of February, things are going to be unfolding where you're left feeling. I don't want to say like you didn't have the right to feel that way because maybe you did. I don't know necessarily what the history of this is. I don't know if they've done this in the past. But what they're saying here is almost it's almost a feeling like, oh, damn, like I jumped to conclusions too quick or I shouldn't have ended, you know, for some of you guys, I shouldn't have ended or made that irrational decision to walk away um, or to, you know, tell them to screw off or to completely block my, you know, my cousin, my sister, that type of energy um, because they were coming from a hurt place as well. With the Ten of Swords and the Five of Cups, they're definitely missing. They're definitely missing you and, and they're hurting through this process as well. But I feel that, again, both of you guys are not really wanting to budge or wanting to let down your guard because ego is involved. Because it's like, I'm not going to allow you to hurt me again. And they're feeling the same way. So then there's absolutely no communication here. However, in the month of February... I do see communication opening up. I see things unfolding very clearly, being able to see exactly what's going on and exactly what's happening, even finding out the people that were pretty much tucking out of their ass and that they triggered you to the point of feeling so certain about their actions and being able to see the things unfold. It's kind of like I'm feeling kind of like, like, I, guess I feel like an ass for judging this person that way. That type of energy is what I'm sensing. Um, so again, I definitely do see that spirit will make things more clear for you for the month of February. And there is going to be almost a, a an opportunity to be able to pacify this anger and to speak clearly and concisely Um for the month of February. And I want to say, let me pull out a few more cards just to get clarification. Um, because like I said, I'm getting a lot of messages. This could have been a relationship. Uh, this could have been a relationship that came to an end uh, because other people were involved. This could have been a situation where, um, you know, for some with the five of cups here, the morning of a loss of a relationship, a connection, uh, it, it could signify, you know, fighting within the family because there was a loss like someone in your family passed away um that type of energy for others it's a relationship that was hindered and came to a conclusion because other people were getting involved um for others of you i'm getting the story of you know really being very defensive and, and holding on to certain anger or animosity towards a relative this could be a sister this could be um, a younger sibling. Um, but it's, it's, it's like you keep thinking of what you went through or what you're going through without really understanding what they've been through. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like when you're in a situation where, as an example, in a family dynamic, right? Um, it's like me going through certain experiences in my life as a child and having a very different perspective than what my sister went through, although we were pretty much raised together, obviously, like we grew up together. Um, but her perspective is very different from what I seen. And, and it's kind of that feeling. It's that feeling of 
having to prove that I'm better or that I'm stronger um, because I've been through worse. And it's kind of like the the other relative or the person that is around you or the person that has both of you guys have hindered this connection. It's like, well, you don't know what I had to go through as well. Like it's it's kind of like what they're telling me here is there's a lot of healing that needs to happen. And a lot of that clearing of energy, it's kind of like not wanting to fess up, not wanting to speak up, not wanting to say your truth because you just don't want to make it worse. But I feel that by you guys not speaking of what needs to be spoken is what's creating all this animosity and, and all this confusion around your connection with that person. Um, and I feel that the moment that you face it head on or you deal with it or have an open conversation like, hey, why is it that every time we have a conversation, I feel like you're attacking me? Or why is it that every time we are trying to uh, agree on something or have a conversation, you know, just in general, you're always snapping at me or, or things like that. I feel that having that open communication is going to really help instead of ignoring it. Like, let's pretend that we don't hate each other, but deep down we kind of do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, sorry, you guys, I'm getting so many messages. Um, it, it's not going to, you know, it's not going to connect with everyone. I hope that you take whatever resonates with you um, and what doesn't just leave it. Don't try to force the reading on yourself. Okay, spirit guides, please give me uh, this 10 of swords here. Please clarify for me the 10 of swords. Why is this 10 of swords here? Why is this Ten of Swords here? Okay. So I feel that for some of you guys, um, yeah, you're definitely dealing with a some type of family uh, dynamic. Um, with the Knight of Coins, this is something that you guys have been dragging out for a very long time. Uh, the Judgment is rebirth. It's a new beginning. Um, obviously, Ten of Swords is always an ending, but I feel that it's like, you will get to the point of having another go at this connection, whether it's relationship, whether it's romantic, whether it's family dynamic. With the Hermit card, I feel that you guys are being guided. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with uh, energy around you. This could be a loved one, someone that is around you that is no longer here in the physical aspect. Um, the owl always signifies to me, uh, you know, great masters uh this is talking about spirit guides this is talking about um you know um past loved ones that have passed into the astral realm that you're being guided and you're being protected all right so let's pull out spirits messages what are spirit messages directly for gemini sun moon rising and venus spirit guides what are the direct messages that you want to communicate Gemini for this month of February in regards to this situation that they're going to be dealing with for the month of February 2021. What are the direct messages? Direct messages here, Spirit Guide. Okay. Okay, so your first card here, uh, Gemini, is Diligence. Yeah, so what they're telling you here is uh, be practical in your approach. Be uh, be methodical. Try the best you can not to jump to conclusions if you already did jump to conclusions. And there was a situation that, you know, you were dealing with a relationship and there was it came to an end or some type of breaking or separating. Um, be patient. Don't make irrational decisions. Don't go quick to try to you know, reconnect or rekindle this connection, allow things to unfold the way they're going to um, have trust more than anything. Your next card is love. Uh, so again, you know, I feel that there's anger, there is animosity or feeling of hurt and betrayal, or for some of you guys, resentment. Uh, what they're telling you here is be diligent. Uh, don't, you know, judge others harshly with the love card. Uh, come from a loving place. If you can't do that, then Obviously, I would encourage you guys to do a lot of meditation uh, to be able to unblock your heart chakra because I feel that there is this outer shell that you've kind of molded yourself into uh, very strong, very independent energy is what I'm sensing. 
but they're also telling me that that's a defensive mechanism. That is a way of you showing the world that you're strong and that you can uh, come off as, you know, like I said, strong or difficult or even bitchy, but it's a defense mechanism because I feel that life has been very hard for you um, when deep down inside you are a marshmallow. So what they're telling you here, it's time for you to embrace your feminine energy, whether you're a male or female, it doesn't matter. And uh, finally, your next card here is, give me one second if I can pull it out, <clears throat> change. So I definitely do see uh, major changes happening for you, Geminis. I see a lot of transformation, a lot of healing that's happening. Um, again, if you are dealing with a relationship or some type of partnership that came to a conclusion or there's some distancing right now, I feel that things are going to be in, unfolding and it's going to be to the best of your interest. But the way for you to approach this situation is with diligence. Uh, be smart and practical. Try the best you can not to judge too harshly. And if you hear rumors or anything like that, try the best you can to take it with a grain of salt. A lot of the times, um, it's not so much what we hear. It has more to do with the people that tell tell us that information. You know what I mean? Like question what their motives are, why they're telling you this information. Come from a loving place. Try the best you can to uh, be guided with love, um, react with love. And if you can't do that, go get yourself some some stones and, and meditate <laughs> to let go of that anger and embrace the changes, my lovelies. There is a lot of transformation that's happening, and I feel that this is going to propel you uh, into making you more whole, into making you more of who your authentic self is and be able to embrace new beginnings. All right, my lovelies, sorry for this very long uh, reading, but a lot of messages came through. I want to thank Spirit for communicating. I hope that this resonates with some of you guys. Uh, wish you guys the very best. Happy Valentine's, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.